Okay, our final speaker is Rich Steger. Rich is one of the organizers of our ELF forums, and he's also a leader of New York State United Teachers. Thank You're you, Donna. <laughs> thank you, Donna. And thank you to all the previous speakers as well for taking the time out of your day to share your stories and share your positions on what is probably the most vulnerable workers we have in our society right now, which are our warehouse workers. They're definitely one of the most vulnerable. Um, they have no collective voice, as you've heard, and that's what we need to try to work to give them. Um, as a, the Hudson Valley Area Labor Federation, we are an organization of unions. And one of the things we need to do is to help to bring up the non-unionized workers and their standard of work and their standard of you know, employment so that the people that are working without unions, when their level of employment goes up, then the level of employment will st maintain for all of our unionized workers. At the same time, if we can give the voice to these vulnerable workers, then they'll have the ability to fight for themselves. And they'll also see the value in being in a union and the value of solidarity. We spoke a lot about Amazon tonight, but in the Hudson Valley, we have many, many warehouses owned by many corporations, which are in fact Fortune 500 companies. These are not poor companies. These are companies that can afford to pay the right wages, provide the right benefits, as well as provide safe working conditions for its employees. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a coalition of group, like-minded groups who would like to help the warehouse workers in our community find their collective voice and hopefully at some point find the union. Um, right now, I'm looking for anybody that's interested in being a part of um, the Amazon Warehouse um, Worker Group to contact me. My email is in the chat or the feed, I believe. Um, and I'm looking to have a socially distanced um, organize, organizing meeting probably in the next two weeks. So if you guys and ladies would like to, you know, be a part of that, I would love to have you reach out to me and let me know. And I would be glad to try to come up with a date that would work for the majority of people. And again, we need to find their collective voice. And together as privileged union workers, we need to be able to use our privilege to uplift the other people who don't have that privilege right now. Thank you.